Hey guys, Bepper here and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make the perfect clanning outfit. So first off, you want to choose the animal that you want to be. You can use any animal, but wolves and bunnies work especially well because in Serapia Forest, most clanners use wolves and bunnies. Around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces. Wolves represent cats from warrior cats, and bunnies represent their little kittens. Next up, choose a name. You want a name that fits with a clanning theme. If you want to be the leader of your own clan, you can use a name such as Commander. If you'd rather join a clan and become a medic, you could choose a name such as Doctor. I'm going to go with the name King because he's going to be the king. I used to kind of want something that resembles nature in a way. For example, Arctic resembles the cold and snow, while Vine might represent the vines hanging from trees. For example, this character is going to be tough, so his last name is going to be Claw. Once you've created your character, you want to choose a color scheme. Keep in mind, this is a clan outfit, so you want to make it kind of natural looking, such as brown or gray. Believe it or not, the eyes say a lot about the personality of the character. If your character is really scary, you might want to give it scary eyes, but if it's just innocent and sweet, you might want to give it big goofy eyes. Finally, onto the pattern. You can choose any pattern you'd like, but two very popular ones to use while clanning are fire and lightning. Once you've got colors down, you want to choose items that best suit clanning. Items like these include antlers, swords, bow and arrows, elf bracelets, etc. So here's my finished product. I went from a default wolf to a new, exciting clanning wolf in just minutes. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more daily videos. Goodbye.